Hey guys, Tough Thumbs here. <clears throat> so again, I got not much to show you. Just a few things. Uh, one pimp child is pretty fucking badass. Excuse my language. So I just got done hanging out with uh, my landlord. He's actually a pretty cool guy. Into knives and stuff, so that's, that's pretty cool. That's, that's definitely a good thing for me, so. <laughs> but uh, anyway. So I got my knife porn here you know I just I'm just absolutely loving these I got them yesterday so you know I'm still uh, basking in their 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 beauty right now so as corny as that is but I actually dropped the sniper today that was fun and uh, not a single speck on it I dropped it I thought these inlays would pop right out uh, it was a really stupid thing for me to do but uh, no everything's secure on here not even a scratch anywhere it's ridiculous love this knife <clears throat> so anyway, uh, the Hoback actually started to, it's M4 steel, so I started to get some rust, so I, you know, I, I Hobacked it some more, and I acid washed the blade, which is definitely fitting for this knife. Uh, unfortunately, the only downside is the logo came off. I thought it would stay on there, actually, but it, it didn't, so. Sandblasted the screws and the clip again. Just for the hell of it, but I love this knife, guys. It's just, just flips open nice and smooth. My hands are cold, so they're sore. But uh, awesome knife, guys. Can't say enough good about Jake Hoback. I mean, he makes a quality knife, guys. You'll love it. Definitely get one from him if you can. I think I'm gonna be getting one of his Quakens soon, so that's pretty cool. Love this thing. I thought it was developing, well, no. It's got a little bit of blade play there. I think it's because I have not tightened the pivot. That's probably why. <laughs> so anyway, uh, as you can see right here, we got the Benchmade Onslaught. This one is the large. Uh, this one is modified by the owner. He sent two of these. Uh, this one's pretty cool because uh, I have always wondered, and a couple other people, I know a lot of people have actually wondered, taking that swedge off the top, what it would look like. And uh, this is a good, a really good pimp job actually for you know, not doing too much to it, just shining up the G10 and uh, and the screws and taking the swedge off. Uh, this one's getting carbon fiber, probably gonna do it tomorrow. Uh, I just did one of them today. I had to buy a washing machine today and hook it up and all that crap, so that was no fun. But spending half the damn day doing that. And the other half actually making phone calls, returning phone calls, because uh, you know, I got my Evo working, which is, Still a piece of shit, but you know it, it. It works. It's better than that flip phone I was using, and I still got all my my lovely uh, knife porn on it. Okay. Yeah, it's got the Anzo. Uh, I think it's a Haddock in the background there. Really nice one. Just pimp as hell. Love that knife. It's my inspiration right there. So anyway, uh, we're gonna get the lights shut off a couple times in this video, but this one I don't think I'll need to really. Uh, after this, I'm gonna show you the uh, Tough Thumbs or Tough Knives Carbon Fiber. Definitely freaking awesome. Black Sight, definitely Black Sight Carbon Fiber definitely came through and uh, hooked me up with something really unique. Uh, definitely nobody else has got it. It's my own carbon fiber, uh, and I'll show you that in a minute. But first, I'll we'll show you the pimp job. So we got another Benchmade Onslaught. I'm pretty sure the blade has been polished. I'm not positive. It, it's so evenly done that I'd, I'd have to give props to the owner for doing a damn good job making it look factory, but he said, I think he said it didn't. It's all, it's cold so it looks all gross. Of course, see that? But the scales are moon glow and jade. So it completely glows in the dark. I'm gonna show you some way to block out the light. Let me see. Maybe I do this in the dark real quick. There we go. As you can see, glows very nicely. Got the uh, jumbo Anzo pattern on there. Just nice and shallow, rounded off. Because uh, it's such a nice grip on this thing. <clears throat> the nice contoured smooth handles are great, so any pattern doesn't really 
doesn't really add anything to it, just, just looks. So I just kind of put a shallow Jumbo Anzo in there. And it looks awesome. But while I have the lights off, I'm going to show you the Tough Knives Carbon Fiber. Uh, this might take a second here. I gotta, I gotta make sure this charges nicely. It's the first shot for him, first time doing it. Uh, Black Slate will be, I don't know if he's so much offering the service. He said he is, but uh, you know, I don't want him to get like bombarded with phone calls or anything to do this, but I think if you talk to him, he's a really nice guy, Tyson, and uh, he's he's messing around with uh, making stuff with carbon fiber, more than just, just having sheets for knife makers. He's actually making jewelry, keychains, really cool shit, like cases, like phone cases, and you know, his, his uh, carbon fiber, like I've said a million times, is the best out there, so I'm just going to show this. Yep. Glow in the dark. Seeing seeds into there. Carbon fiber, tough knives version. Really cool. Really freaking cool, guys. This is, uh, he was trying this out for me and uh, we kind of talked about it and uh, it turned out better than I could even imagine. You see that? That looks gorgeous like that. So I have like half a sheet of this right now, just a trial. Probably put one scale on my knife, of course, and maybe a customer that really wants my logo on there. Uh, the logo looks really cool, as you can see. They kind of link together, the K and the T. So you can have this pattern and it's, it's just really cool. Like I designed that logo so you could basically pattern it off. You guys hear that noise? Anyway, let's get the lights back on here. So on the other half of the sheet, it's just a milled out Tough Knives logo. Really cool looking. Just turned out awesome, guys. I'm so happy with this. And uh, definitely you can get them to do stuff like this in carbon fiber. Uh, again, I don't know what exactly I, I asked him. He said, yes, he, he, I could say that he is doing this, but yeah, I'm not sure what he charges or anything like that. So got this nice suit of carbon fiber here. Definitely awesome, guys. Just let me know what you think. I'll put a link to his site and uh, you know, he's got some, some of his work on there, and you know, also if you're looking for carbon fiber, i said it a million times, and I back it 100%. There's no better carbon fiber out there. He does the marble exclusively. Uh, it's a little difficult to get sometimes, but... That's just awesome. Love it. See that Anzo pattern there? I think next time I'm gonna see if we can mill it completely through, so I can, you know, I leave a lot of requests for, uh, you know, the carbon fiber with moon glow underneath of it. Be really cool to have. Uh, yeah, you don't have to do. Yeah, you can do any shape pretty much. Anything you can program into a computer, I guess. I don't know much about that stuff yet, but you know, I will eventually. So anyway, guys, that's what I got for you today. Uh, tomorrow, a lot more, and uh, got a. Um, a couple knives coming in the mail tomorrow that I'm pretty excited. They belong to a customer, and I'm really excited to see them. Uh, one of them in particular is a fellow YouTuber's knife that he made. Uh, that'll be an interesting video. I have issues with it, and uh, it's, it's going to spark an entire discussion for me about knife making and what it means to be a knife maker and what is, what is considered knife making, what's considered this. It, it's just a whole thing that I've been thinking about for a long time. I've talked to bunch of knife makers and and fans and uh and collectors about it and it's, it seems to be like a split kind of opinion about it i mean it's it's not it, it's just and i'd be interested to see what kind of discussion happens in the comments uh so you know we'll get to that when i get to it 
But it's going to be pimped and it's going to be pretty cool because I got free reign over it, so it'll be pretty interesting. But anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Again, sorry about the lack of pimp jobs, but, you know, someone said something about, uh, you know, catching up and getting back to showing time. That's true. It's just uh, getting, getting the little bits and pieces and ends out of there, so... Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Have a great night. Peace.